So how can I get a cybersecurity job without having work experience? Well, so cybersecurity is very difficult to break into as your like first technology job. It's not impossible. You totally can, um, but you're definitely gonna have to start studying cybersecurity, studying different um, things like networks, operating systems, cloud, really anything you, you can learn is helpful. Um, are you in school right now? Or um, you know, what, what are you doing right now? Are you, are you studying towards a certification? Um, really, I mean, if you can try to get a job in technology and like IT, then that's going to start getting you towards there. The, um, the first job is always the hardest to get. So once you start getting experience, then it's going to get much easier because you're going to start building these skills. You're going to start doing all the stuff that companies are looking for. And then you're going to you know, just get more opportunities. Also, networking is huge. A lot of jobs that you can get are going to be based on who you know, not necessarily always what you know. So if you can do, um, you can go to like these startups that they, or the, um, these like meetings that they have, different associations uh, around your area. and um, with those, you can meet people in the industry. Um, okay, so studying for a CEH course. Yeah, I mean, so really that's, that's the idea is you just need to be studying and learning more as you go and just keep applying. Apply, apply, apply while you're doing it. Don't wait till you finish uh, to apply. Just apply and then keep on studying, keep on learning. Because the more that you can add to your resume, the better, especially if you can show things. So for instance, like with the CEH, if you can um, do like maybe a video of you doing hack the box or something like that, then you're, you're showing what you're actually learning and what you're doing. And like try hack me and hack the box, they have those ranking systems. So if you're going through those, then you, know, you can complete some of the training and put your ranking or um, you'll be able to put like your badge maybe on your resume, something like that. Um, just a lot of different things that you can do. Start a blog. Um, the more that you can show, especially when you're first starting out, that just shows an interest in the field. So, um, you know, definitely just, you know, definitely check that out. Um, and then let's see, Custom Americans, that you're in Florida. Okay, going back to that question. Yeah, I mean, you know, really all over the country. Um, Florida, like the, the D.C. area. Um, if you're wanting to go overseas, you can find stuff. Um, there's a website, it's uh, Clearance Jobs. Um, that, you know, you can definitely find stuff if you're willing to relocate. Um, but I think in Florida, you should have quite a bit of opportunity, at least within the state. I'm not sure about specifically in uh, Tampa. But, um, you know, you, you definitely should be able to find something in Florida, um, and especially the East Coast. A lot of stuff on the east coast so you shouldn't have to go that far if you have to relocate 